Hi guys, it's Rosemary with Good Journeys Tarot, and we're doing something a little different today. Um, Strength Reverse posted a really great video, which I'll link below, about um, Pound Stay Connected. And she talked a little bit about the things that she's doing right now, and the... Um, uh, things that are on her mind. And so I thought I might just share with you what's going on right now at my house. So, um, I recently, um, decided to try this tea of the month subs. Um, and, um, so today I was sitting down and I was having this tea and thought, well, let me just share it with you. So, um, <clears throat> they send you a variety of teas based on, a quiz that you fill out with your preferences and so the one that I'm actually making here this was a loose leaf tea called Paris uh, by Harvey and Sons and um, I'm just gonna read the description to you um, this is actually a high caffeine tea and um, it's a combination of um, black tea oolong black currant vanilla bergamot and caramel and um, and so it, they give you um, tea bags that you can put the loose leaf in. And um, I've just added a little honey to mine today. And I'm having it with these um, orange flavored Milano cookies. So, um, and it's very good. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm not going to probably do this box monthly, but I'll probably periodically get it to try some different teas because I do enjoy tea. And... Um, the other three that are actually in my box right now, um, and they did give me a muslin bag as well to use for tea, um, but I have a white pomegranate tea. I have a another loose leaf tea, which is um, called Kashmiri Chai. I love a good chai tea. It should be interesting to try that one out. And then the last one is called... It's from Buddha Teas. It's called Sleepy Temple Tea. So that'll probably be one I try in the evening. Um, but while I was enjoying my tea today, I thought I would talk a little bit about um, the Creatures of the Moon Oracle. Um, I actually had put this down for a while because I was working with some other Oracle decks. But I keep coming back to this. And... Um, for some reason, when the Spring Equinox hit and I was looking for decks to work with, um, I really wanted to get back to um, this deck, which is based on the moon phases and creatures that correspond to them, with them. And so I drew two cards uh, similar to what uh, Strength Reverse did in her video um, for uh, something to embrace right now which was the Opossum Blossom. Um, this was actually, when I first got this deck, I decided to follow the cycle of the moon through setting each card. And this was the day that I started on. And this card is about creativity. It is about um, expressing yourself. And of course, there it is right there. So in her book, she has these lovely stories about the creature. So there is the story. And then she also has a description um, of the um, cards. And um, she has a little bit about the moon phases as well. Um, the key things here are um, not just about creativity, but also about secrecy. Um, about being a free spirit, um, being unconventional. So, um, you know, basically blossoming, as it were. Um, you know, we, we create things without concern for what other people think about them um, on that road to becoming ourselves. She also relates it to numerology. Um, this is day 10 of the waxing moon. And so a 10 um, is the um, first number following the root numbers. Um, it signifies an experience is complete, um, but that you're ready to take, you know, the next step um, on a new journey. And um, 
She also gives you some questions for reflection. Um, what work or path do I need to protect? Um, what drama or conflict should I presently avoid? Um, what are my blossoms? And so this is where um, I should be focusing at the moment as we're going through this journey together. And um, and I think that's just on my creativity. I, I just need to continue to um, draw, to paint, to write, to um, spend time with my online friends um, to get through this process. And so... Uh, Strength Reverse also pulled a card for um, what I need to let go of um, as we, um, at the end of this whole thing, and equality is what came up for me, which was a little bit weird as something to let go of, but I think this more speaks to the fact that I need to let go of um, uh, the idea that everything needs to be fair. Um, because it's, it's not the world that we live in. The world is not fair. Um, we have to learn to, um, work around that problem in our world, basically. You know, um, there's a give and take, uh, to succeed in a world that is not fair. Um, as an example, like at work, you know, sometimes we have to, um, do things in a way that we wouldn't normally do at home because we want to advance our career. You know, we can't always be exactly ourselves in the workplace. And that's sad, but that's a truth that, you know, one of my supervisors tried to teach me for a long time, and I've only really now become to the point where I can embrace that. You know, I can be as much of myself as possible without jeopardizing my job, you know. And so there's a balance there that you have to reach because life is not always fair. And I need to let go of that idea that it's going to be fair and, you know, work with what I have at, while fighting at the same time for equality. Um, so it's a little bit of a balance there. And... Um, I'm not sure that I'm articulating that as well as I could. Um, but I guess that's something that I'll be looking at um, as I move through this. Um, right now, I am uh, not really struggling. Um, I, I'm going to be getting paid. I'm going to be working, actually. Um, I have to go in every day until I actually have the ability to work from home. That could be any day in the next two to three weeks. I'm waiting on <laughs> a little piece of um, technology to come in the mail, um, which is really frustrating because there's no tracking for it or any way to find out where it is or when it's going to get here. Um, so basically just hanging out now, trying to relax um, and enjoy the things that I have. Um, and maybe do a little education since I'm not going to get to attend any of the conferences that I wanted to this year on the tarot. Um, so if you guys have a chance, um, grab your favorite tea um, and enjoy a, a sip this afternoon. And while you're at it, go online, check out Rebecca Schoenecker's deck, uh, Creatures of the Moon. It's really a fabulous deck. It's a system in the way that many oracles do not embrace a system. And um, I've really enjoyed working with it. And I hope uh, that others will find enjoyment in it as well. And I'll post the link to her deck uh, down below as well. Until next time, good journeys.